Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing a GMC Sierra AT4 with the Duramax diesel. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Jerry Signer GMC here in North Salt Lake for giving me some time with this truck. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you're gonna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a three liter inline six turbo diesel that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 21 around town and then 23 on the highway with power outputs being 305 horsepower and then 495 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do wanna mention if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see the boxy design and notice how it kind of, you know, goes up and down throughout. Now popping down below, we've got the signature C-shaped daytime running lights. And then notice how the headlights are a little bit more flush with the grill now, it's a really cool look. Got the GMC logo with the camera below the logo. And then we have our red tow hooks to signify it's an AT4 and then fog lights on either side. And putting it all together, let me know your thoughts on the front end, but I think it's large, imposing, and it looks good. Now coming on the side here, our tank wheel setup has 275, 65, 18 in the front and over on the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels, you got the silver with the metallic gray. We've got these beefy all-terrain tires as well. And then you guys can see the fender flares here. We have our Duramax turbo diesel badge, AT4 down below. And then notice the mirror cap blacked out. And then we've got these fixed side steps. And then here's your full side view with the AT4. Again, with those all-terrain tires, has a really cool stance. Now taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function, remote start, we got the tailgate drop down, and then the GMC logo on the back. And popping into the back, you guys can see we've got protection here on the tailgate itself, and then also with the bed from the factory. LED lights here on the bed, we also have that grab handle to help out with accessing the bed. And then we have a full outlet here in the bed. And then this one has the multi-pro. So, got the whole step system. Weight limit on this is 375 pounds. And then when you're all done, just click that into place and then you can kind of lift the whole thing up in one motion. Now I got the C-shaped taillights, then you guys can see bumper step down below, parking sensors with the squished exhaust tips is what I like to call it. And then you guys can see the rest of the logos back here. And putting it all together, let me know your thoughts on the looks here, but I really like the AT4. Now taking a look at the door panel, you guys can see soft touch here at the top and look at the trim. And then down below, look at the stitching here to signify it's an AT4. And that theme continues on to the seats. You guys can see the little brown inserts there. Notice it's perforated. We also have the secret storage here. And then you got more storage underneath the seat and then a flat loading floor in front. Leg room back here is really good. We also have a little storage pocket, some cup holders, heated seats. And then you guys can see with the USBs and the vents and then headroom, it's good. Now take a look at the front door panel again, soft touch here, and then look at that trim that goes across. And then you guys can see all the stitching. We've got all of our window controls. Uh, front two are automatic. You got your mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. We also have memory seats and blind spot with the mirrors. And then when it comes to capabilities, 1,421 pounds of payload capacity, and then towing capacity is 8,800 pounds. Got AT4 there on the headrest. And then you guys can see perforated all down the center again with the brown inserts. We've got our power adjustments here on the side, and then you can see AT4 and GMC there. And then we've got our parking brake right here. We've got our drive mode select, tow haul mode select as well, and then your drive line select. And also we've got four wheel auto, four wheel high, two wheel high, and four wheel low. Drive mode select, heads up display, and then the steering wheel is power adjustable. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you can see the leather trim all around and then you got the contrast that's stitching in the center portion. Radio controls as well as paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel. We got controls for the center stack and we have our adaptive cruise control as well as our heated steering wheel button. And you guys can see turn signal windshield wiper stock. Now taking a look at the gauge cluster, you guys can see fully digital here. And we can scroll through some different menus, see different bits of info on the truck. And we've got that tow haul mode, turns on the diesel exhaust brake, sport mode, and then you've got an off-road mode as well as the normal mode. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. Notice we got that bird's eye view too. And you can see out of a bunch of different angles here with the camera system, which is really cool. Overall, you even can see the bed 
as well. Um, but yeah, great resolution on the camera system, good 360 camera system overall. As for the rest of the infotainment system, well, I guess we gotta go through there. Um, you guys can see the auxiliary tab there on the side. Um, overall response time with the screen is actually really good. It's easy to use. I like to have physical buttons there on the side too. Also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Really nice trim here on the dash that goes across. And then you guys can see down below with the wood trim. And then you got the double glove box here, which is always a nice feature. And I like the stitching and piping right there. But yeah, nice look. And then we have our dual zone climate section. So you guys can see dual zone climate controls, heated seats. We also have ventilated seats. And then we've got this for lane departure, parking sensors, auto stop start, tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control, and then your hill descent control as well. Now we also have our shifter here for the 10 speed automatic. Trailer brake controls behind that. We've got some cup holders right here. And look at the center console. Nice perforated trim here in the center. Got a wireless phone charging pad inside, good storage, and you have a full power outlet as well. And then last but not least, kind of, last but not least, camera rear view mirror, and then we have a power sliding window. Now here's a quick look at the window sticker, 2024 Sierra AT4. Um, after all options, stickers for 70,615 bucks. And let's see how it drives. Talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the HUD and hoping you see the heads-up display. Both the mirrors. Throughout the rest of the rear. And let us set off in the AT4 to see how this goes. Um, first off, I will say seats are pretty comfortable. Um, they are firmer in normal GM fashion. Gotta love the torque from the diesel too. Wow. Yeah, just right off the bat. Really good. quiet too. I mean, we're right next to the interstate and as soon as you get in this truck, it's like tons of insulation. Yeah, great torque right off the bat. So they've done a good job with that. Suspension handles the bumps and everything in the road quite well. I will say that. Continuing along here. <laughs> I love the baby Duramax so much. It's such a good engine. It just has so much torque. It really does feel like unstoppable, right? So yeah, I'm always, always impressed with this engine. Now I've driven the AT4 quite extensively. I actually um, lived with one for a week, so I'm, I'm pretty familiar with the truck overall, but always got to give you guys some, some sort of driving uh, thing and also time out time out time out look at that it's a hummer hummer ev those are always cool to see um but anyways to uh cap things off here with our at4 review i think it looks really cool on the outside i like the interior a lot um and this is such a good value i know it's crazy you're like seventy thousand bucks how is that a good value here's the deal you look at the ford tremor and you look at the ram rebel $70,000 with both of those trucks does not buy you nearly as much truck as what you get here with the AT4. And this again, competes directly with those. This has heated and cooled seats. It's got this nice leather interior. It looks great. It's got a heads up display. The only thing it doesn't have is a sunroof, right? Um, which is an option you can add. But like, again, go, go build out a Ram Rebel or a Ford Tremor for $70,000. And what you'll find is you just won't get as much truck. And so, yeah, GM is just offering a really good value with the uh, AT4 here, where you've got, yeah, just, I mean, you're getting so much truck for the money compared to the competition. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the AT4, but I think this might just be the king of this segment right now because it is such a good value.